to Captain Otto the Corgi and other commenters. Uh, I wanted to make a quick video for you about this issue of switching careers so frequently. So I keep looking at myself, hard not to. Um, because I've been through the same thing and actually I had a career as a wedding DJ for uh, my own business as a wedding DJ for a couple of years and then decided to sack that off because I didn't like it. Um, <clears throat> now I'm a career coach and confidence coach, um, hence why I think I can help. Um, but yeah, I've done the same thing. I'm 29 and I've had like seven or eight different careers. And I think there's a few things that went on for me and I can only speak for me, but some questions maybe to ask yourself, do you know what you really, really want? And if you message me, I can hit you up with a, a written exercise that will help you answer that. Maybe not get it perfect, but help you answer that. Um, so yeah, getting clear on what you really want, because if the why isn't right behind the, um, the what, so the what is the job, the how is the job. If you don't have a why, then it's likely that you're kind of going from thing to thing like a tumbleweed without any real motivation, real inspiration behind it, just this sort of temporary um, excitement. And you can kind of liken it to the different stages of a romantic relationship. Like you've got the lusting stage, which is just, well, we all know what that is. Then the attraction stage, the honeymoon period, which is, um, you know, where you're really excited, you're almost addicted to that person, you're being a you're being whoever they want you to be and you're kind of changing and every time you're not around them, it's it's rubbish and it's not exciting. And you're just all about them. You can't stop thinking about them. And that's because your brain's full of dopamine, basically, which is the same chemical it releases um, when you take cocaine, if you take cocaine. Um, and then after that crazy excitement, honeymoon period, you've got the um, I've forgotten what it's called. It's not attachment. No, that was attraction. And then the last one is, I've forgotten, but basically the long-term warm, fuzzy feeling, the love you get um, for someone that you really respect and has your back. And yeah, there are hard times and you don't always love each other, but um, you know, you're in it together. There's commitment there. And that can really, I think, be related to jobs. And if you're anything like me, I was the same in relationships as I was jobs. I was always trying to people please. I was always trying to make other people happy. I was always trying to get them to love and respect me. And so both in my relationships and in my work, it was never really about me. It was never really about validating what I truly wanted. I'd never asked myself that. Never got really clear on that until I got myself a career coach. And it just so happened that was such an inspiring experience that I became one myself. Um, but yeah, until you've really asked yourself those questions, there's a chance you might fall into something that works for you or your external situation, circumstances will force you into making it work. But you might not be as happy as you could be if you'd really given this the thought um, beforehand. So I'll leave it at that because I have a tendency to ramble, but good luck. Send me a message if you want that exercise. Um, lots of love.